Welcome back to my channel. As you know, my name is Trisha Morris. So today we'll be doing composition function. Now, in mathematics, function composition is an operation that takes two function, say f and g, to produce a new function called h. So a common way to write a composite function, for example, is one, this is one way. Well, for some persons, they are more familiar with composite function, e written as so I have it here. However, both of them are seeing the same thing which is seen F composition G. And it means that it's basically substituting G into F. Same case here, F composition G, which means we substitute G function into the F function. So let's look at an example. Say we have F of X, equal 2x take away 1 and the function g is 4x plus 1. I could ask you to find f of g. If I ask for f of g then all this is saying is you're substituting the g function into f. We are resubstituting it. We are substituting it where I see the variable x. So I'll be replacing the variable x with 4x plus 1. So I'll have two open brackets 4x plus 1 close bracket, take away one. So replace the x with four x plus one. Then simplified, we expand the square bracket. So I have four times two, that's eight x. Two times one, that's two, take away one. So we have eight x, plus one. We could also ask for g f x. And what this means is that we're going to substitute the function f into g. So g identify where is my variable. I will be replacing that variable with two x minus one. So we'll have four open bracket replacing the variable x with 2x minus 1, so I have a 2x minus 1 here, plus 1. Then expanding the bracket, 4 times is 2x, 8x, and 4 times negative 1 is minus 4, plus 1. So we have 8x minus minus four plus one, minus three. We could also have fx being x plus five and gx being three x squared. So if I ask her f of g x then what i'm really asking you to do is substitute the function g into the function f so replacing this x with g x i will have replacing this i'll just have 3x squared plus 5. if i ask a g of fx then what I'll be doing, I'll be substituting this variable x with x plus 5. So I have 
x plus 5 all square. And then if you realize, now, remember, you know, all I did was replace x plus 5 where I have x. But here I have an all square. So what we can go ahead and do is expand the bracket. So we have x plus 5 times x plus 5. So we have 3, x times x, x squared, x times 5, that's 5x, five, 5 times x, 5x, five, and 5 fives, that's 25. So it means that what we have here is x squared. 5x plus 5x, that gives us 10x plus 25. Now, multiplying all of these, we'll have, we multiply 3 times x squared gives us 3x squared. And 3 times 10x, that gives us 30x. And 3 times 25, that's 75. And there you go. So for gfx, what we're going to do, we're going to substitute the function f into g, so where I see the x right here, I'm gonna replace it with one over three x plus two, close bracket, close bracket minus three. So multiplying the nine times one, we don't multiply the entire thing where the numerator and the denominator multiply by, by nine. It's just like if I have nine, times a half, we put the nine over one, then we say nine times one gives me nine, and one times two gives me two. It's the same concept with this. We can put this over one and say nine times one, that gives me nine, and one times three, three x plus two to give me three x. X plus two, take away three. Now we can simplify this. Finding the LCM, the LCM for this will be 3x plus 2. Then 3x plus 2 into 3x plus 2 give you 1. 1 times 9 gives me 9. Then a minus sign. 1 into 3x plus 2 gives us 3x plus 2. Then multiplying all of 3x2 by the negative 3. So negative 3 times positive 3x give you negative 9x. Negative 3 times positive 2, that's negative 6. So what we have is 3x plus 2. Write the negative 9x. And then these are like terms. So I'll have 9 and the minus 6. So I'll have positive 9 and negative 6. So 9 take away 6, I'm left with 3. So I have minus 9x plus 3 over 3x plus 2. And there you go. So substitute g into f. So I replace this x with 9x minus 3. So I have 1 over 3, then 9x take away 3 plus 2. So clearing the bracket, we'll have 1 over 3 nines, 27. So that would be 27x, 3 nines, 27, right by the x. And 3 times negative 3, that's negative 9, plus the 2. So the answer is 1 over 27x minus 9 plus 2 to give us negative 
seven. Sometimes we are given a composition as C in here, substituting G into H, and then the result that we have, we substitute into F. So the first thing that we need to find is H of G. Meaning we're going to substitute X squared into the function H. So where I see this variable X, I will be replacing it with X squared. So what I have is two X squared take away one. Then this result, I'll be substituting into F. So F, I'm gonna replace, substitute the two X squared minus one into F. So what I'm going to have now, I am going to substitute two X squared minus one where I see the variable X. So I'll have three open bracket, two X squared, take away one plus five. So expanding this three times two gives you six. So this is six X squared. Then three times negative one, this is negative three plus five. So this is six X squared minus three plus five, that is two. We could also be asked to find HG of two, where first we're gonna substitute two into the function G. So let's find G two. So we replace x squared two, so I'll have two squared, which gives me four. And then the result that I have, it means that the result must be substituted into h. So what I have is h of four, which means I will have two times four, take away one. So two fours, eight, take away one, I'm left with seven. Or, some persons, they like to find hg of x because this is saying find the function hg of x and then replace the variable x with two. So hg of x means I substitute g into h, g is x squared, so I replace this x. So I'll have two x squared take away one. Now, since the question answer h, g of two, then I replace this x with two, so I'll have two open bracket, two square, take away one. Now two square is four, and then four times two is eight, so I'll have eight, take away one, and I'm left with seven. So if you realize whichever method you use, you're still getting the same answer. So if you ask for something like this, you know, would substitute G into H, the result into F. We could go further to see function function where I'm asking substitute two into the function. So if we're gonna do it the way where we're gonna substitute two into G, then the result into H, then the result into F, that's one method. So I'll have to find G of substitute two into G. So I'm gonna have replace this X with two. So I have two squared to give me four. Then this result, they're saying we substitute it into H. So I have H being substituted with four. So substituting four here. So I have two times four, take away one. So what we're gonna have is two times four to give you eight, take away one, and that gives me seven. Then this result, I'm gonna substitute it into a, into f. So I'm going to have f of seven. And f of seven means that I'm going to have three open bracket seven, plus five. So seven threes, 21, plus 
five to give me 26. Now, if you're going to do it this way, where you find a composite function, it means you're going to substitute G into H. So that means I need to find H of G. So it means I replace X square, where I see this variable X. So we have 2X square take away 1. Then this result, I'll replace it into F. So that means now this represents f h of g. And uh, all of this, where I see x, so I'll have 3 over take away 1 plus 5. So 3, 2, 6, so I have 6x six squared. 3 times negative 1, that's negative 3 plus 5. So we have 6x squared minus 3 plus 5. That gives us 2. Now the question is to substitute 2 into this function. So what we have is 6 over bracket 2 squared plus 2. So 2 squared is 4 and 4 6 is 24 plus 2. And as you can see, we're getting the same answer, which is... 26. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.